This episode of Out of Spec Reviews is brought to you by Magna. More on that later. Welcome to another Out of Spec Reviews video. We're ready to Hello. Hello. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hey. We're in your Ionic 5. That's right. Uh, and we're at the Hartford International Airport in Connecticut. Bradley International. Bradley International. And I flew in yesterday from Texas. You flew in, su supposed to flew up, fly in yesterday, right, yeah, Alyssa? Yeah, supposed to, but my... Uh, they told me that the engine failed. <laughs> <laughs> Before you took off. Before we took off. You got lucky on that one. Yeah, but um, all is well and I'm here, so. Yeah, well, I, I got a call from Kyle at 11.30 last night saying, Dad, I'm in Connecticut. And I said, you're in Connecticut? Yeah. So typical. So in any event. So then you uh, scooted out and came up this I way. I scooted out, took a half day off from work, drove up from... Fairfield County up to Hartford, and uh, here we are. So uh, where are we headed to? You said Watertown. I don't even know why. Yeah, we got to go to the bank, and then we have to go to Watertown because we are getting something exciting. I bet they have water in Watertown. <laughs> so we are rolling up here. Where are we? We are on Straits Watertown. Turnpike in Water, Watertown. And up to this point, we haven't told the viewers what we're here for. No, <laughs> I didn't know the camera was facing me either. <laughs> oh, but I see some activity going on. A Ford on dealership. A Honda oh, dealership. Is a it, Honda, a Nissan Is it dealership. a Honda E? Is it a Nissan Aria? Is oh. it a Mustang Mach-E? Is it a Lincoln? No. It's a, <laughs> it's a Shaker Ford. Yeah, well, I'm not seeing the place we're trying to go to. Wait, it's a it's a certified used Honda. Nope, not a Honda. No. See, a Honda CRV for life. Yeah, okay. you yeah you like CRVs? <laughs> Why? They're so practical. But wait, Kyle, do you really need another car? Oh, it's a Rolls Royce. Look at that bad boy. Oh. That thing is pretty sweet. You want to tell people what it is, or keep them waiting, Alyssa? Oh, you're still filming? I yeah. see. There's a Volvo dealer right well, up there. And a GMC there? dealer. Hold on. Here we go. Wow, this is not fast. Did you even floor it? I didn't floor it. Mitsubishi, Kyle. Yeah, it's, it's a Kia. It's, it's definitely oh. not a Mitsubishi. Kia. That's funny. There's to say. a Volvo C40. Wait, what is that? In Fjord Ooh, Blue. Hyundai. Okay, we got the Kia. We got the Hyundai. Last. Oh, there it is. There it Whoa. is. Oh, McDonald's. <laughs> you join me back at the office with these incredible views to thank Magna. Now, Magna is a technology company that produces not only parts for cars, but also technological solutions from manufacturing and design and engineering. They cover so many parts of the automotive sector, and I bet you've interacted with a Magna product in your life before. Magna actually is very near and dear to my heart because their partnership, Magna Steyr in Austria, produced my first car, a Mini Country and uh, it was built right there in Graz. A lot of you are also familiar, Magna's gonna be producing the Fisker Ocean in their Magna Steyr factory, and they also build G-Wagons, and nothing gets tougher than a G. So really excited about our partnership with Magna, of course. They are also hiring for engineers, so we know a lot of you guys are super interested in technology and automotive. I'll leave a link below so you can learn more about possible opportunities at Magna, but of course we wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video and being such a huge supporter of out of spec truly they are pushing mobility forwards responsibly and sustainably hey so what are we doing at an audi dealership i'm getting my new car do you want to explain <laughs> first off before we show everyone what it is do you want to tell them why you're getting a new car well we sold the tesla yeah which uh, you were driving primarily yes so which was primarily my car and um Really needed a bigger car for the dogs, obviously. You guys know that um, really wanting to do more road trips with the dogs and also um, possibly getting a third dog in the future. Oh no. <laughs> so, um, and also the foster transport as well. That had to get on hold because of uh, issues with the Tesla. So, so you needed more space. Needed more space. What else were your requirements? <laughs> it's really just an SUV. <laughs> <laughs> and so how did we end up with this car? 
Um, I woke up one morning and got a call from you saying that we're going to get this car because we ended up selling the Tesla. Okay, yeah, we just needed a car. <laughs> yeah. And here you go. You want to tell everyone what it is? Uh, it's an Audi e-tron Prestige. Right, so it's got the massaging seats. Yeah. <laughs> but nice sounding S4 over there. Uh, but we're right over here. So very nice Audi e-tron, of course. And uh, it's got the optional, I think, 21 inch wheels, if I'm not mistaken. We came all the way out here to Connecticut because every other prestige we could find only had black seats. And you were very particular about having the light colored seats, as was I. Yes. I Steering wheel better. looks very nice. Oh, yeah. Don't get it don't, nice don't, and greasy for you. Oh, Look yeah. at his hands. Don't. You got to wash your hands. Solution. Got a little bit of Alcantara over here. Really nice. Everything looks great. Here's your massage seat button. Yes. Which is wonderful. It's got 17,745 miles on it. And what's crazy is what this car was not cheap. Do you remember two years ago you could buy these things for 50 grand? And we were this close to getting And we should have just done it. Yeah. Uh, because we spent almost $20,000 more than that, unfortunately. Looks really super clean. Also a little bit particular about, you know, having the nicest interior possible. I'm just noticing a little bit of dimpling here on the leather, but looks really nice. Alyssa, if you pop out, let's take a look. One of the reasons I was drawn to this car is that the driver's seat shows very little wear. It's really, really nice. Also, paint protection film on the front, just finding out. Not, not a fan of the half bra on here, but just nice to know that the front bumper, the headlights, and this lower section of the hood are covered in paint protection film. Something we don't have to do, we wouldn't do, but it's just nice to have. And um, here's the charging port. I love the e-tron, of course. The reason is it's pretty thirsty. This thing is not the most efficient car. Actually, it's one of the least efficient cars, but it charges so well. The peak isn't really the, the big story here, 150 kilowatt peak, but it can go all the way up to about 75, 80% sitting at 150 kilowatts, which is really nice. Everything's pretty well thought out. Of course, we've done a ton of stuff with e-tron over the years. We have a ton more to do but I'm glad we got a maxed out one. We got to do a little mods. I'm thinking we just black out all the chrome. Already has pretty dark tints on it, which I'm happy about. Head up display, Bang & Olufsen sound system, all the good stuff, of course. Gotta love that. And uh, let's take a look back here in the trunk. I did notice there is a little scratch on it here. So hopefully we'll get that taken care of, but that's just what you get when you buy a used car. And this it's thing's gonna, gonna stay clean long. <laughs> no, this thing's gonna get used, right? I mean, we're gonna rally it. We're gonna put the dogs in it. Definitely put the dogs. We got to get floor mats for it, though. We already got floor mats for it. Oh, coming yeah. soon to a video. Yes. And then, man, I can just see blue scratching all of that. Yeah, the floor mat that we're getting has like. The oh, really? Yeah. That's really nice. It's got the kick to open in the trunk. It does not have the towing package, which we can add. Okay. Yep. That's all you. Yeah. So we're going to do that because we got to tow with it. But all looks pretty good. Pretty pumped about it. Very pumped about it. Dad, we're taking a look. What do you think of this yeah, thing? No, I think it's awesome. You know, I just noticed this was uh, this was a mobility vehicle, which was a company car, yeah. not for retail sale. But it is retail sold. Well, now it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or is in the process of it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this car was eighty four thousand six ninety five new. Wow, that whoever someone did not lose a lot of money on this after you factor the tax credit. Right, that's true. You know, unless maybe they paid a premium. Well, back what, what is this a nineteen? Nineteen the cars weren't going for over. No, back they were. Then. They couldn't sell e trons All back right. then. There was no infrastructure. So it has this package called a prestige package. You ever heard of that? Yep, that's why we got it. Okay, driver assistance plus air yep. ionizer. Yeah. So this is how you turn the lane centering on and off. Oh, it's got the ionizer stuff. Air ionizer. Very nice. Dual pane acoustic glass. Yeah, which means we got the double the double pane glass. Now, is that on all the windows or just the front windows? I don't know. Let's take a look at the rear. Oh, yes. It's on the rear. It's on the rear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Because uh, I think they chintz out like on, the, I know, I know this is not a Kia Hyundai product, but I oh. believe that on the Ionic 5, you get the dual pane glass in the front and the rear, but on the Kia EV6, only in the front. Yeah. Well, the Model 3 is the same way. Is it? Mm -hmm. okay. Just on the front. 
Yeah. You've got, oh, heads up display. Yeah, you can see zero miles per hour floating in the distance right there. Better slow down. Valcona leather individual contour front seats with memory. Ventilation and massage front. Now, question. Can you have the heat and the ventilation on at the same time? Yes, because it's German. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Which I love. That's how I usually run. And does it push air or pull air? It pushes. It Cold pushes. air. They're literally, uh, yeah, it gets pretty chilly. Interesting. Full leather interior package. Sunshades for the rear windows. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Blue and L, you're going to rip those to shreds. Yeah, we're not going to use no, those. No, don't use power door closers. What is that? Power door closers. Soft that? close? Pull your door gently Power, shut. Wait a minute. Is this like the X? No, like pull it gently. Yeah. Yeah, soft close. Wait, did it? Yes. Yep. It nice. Does. But I thought it was like the X where, you know, if the door's open. Right, where you hit the button. You hit the brake button and the, uh, the brake pedal. Such a Tesla guy. I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> ambient interior light pl lighting plus package. Wonderful. We can change the color too. All of that, seven grand. Pearl beige interior. Beautiful interior, by the way. Yeah, I love the, the interior. The seats are amazing. I love the ventilation and and uh, brilliant black. And then it and that that whole package was for the prestige of seven grand. Then $1,500 for the 21-inch 15-spoke turbine design wheels with all-season tires. How many miles are on this thing? 17. All right. We, so we have a tire sponsor. We're good. Yeah. But, I mean, are these the, do you think these are the original tires? Probably. Probably. I can't imagine someone ripping right. a Neutron. And then, Kyle, an extra $400 for rear side thorax airbags with illuminated seatbelt buckles. Yeah. So what that's what that? I like. At nighttime, the light buckles light up. Oh, wow. <laughs> so just in case you don't know where to put the seatbelt in. Right. It, it, okay. That's crazy. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So what's the so sticker on this thing? So, yeah, when you add it all up, 84695 Cool. And it was, now, where did it go to? So it was sent to dealer? Houston. Audi of Omaha. Oh, yeah. Well, so I, I think see. this was their loaner car originally. Then someone bought it. And we are technically the second owner. I see. Yep. Okay. And it's got another unlimited mileage bumper to bumper warranty, okay. <laughs> which we will take full advantage of. Cat? Oh, it's just whatever was on Sirius oh. XM. <laughs> they full charged it though. So yeah, nice. I wonder how long it's been sitting full. Uh, so this is we, big we, buffers on this car. This is Who what cares? we call big e-tron. Fat e-tron. Fat e-tron. Yeah. No Q4 e-tron. No Q4. All right, and, and let me get this straight. The Q4 e-tron, which is basically an ID4, charges at what, 125 kilowatt? 135 with the One, new software. 135 with the new software. What will this do if One, I pull up to a if I pull up to a 350? Well, 150. This will only charge at 150? Yeah. Okay, Said like, like a true Ionic 5 owner. Yeah, I mean, what, <laughs> what, what kind of technology is And you bought this car for what reason? It's so much nicer than anything. Oh man, you haven't seen the GV60 yet. I don't like. The no, GV60. I know. I'm teasing. <laughs> but 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 it does charge in deep into the pack. To about eighty percent. Okay. So therefore, you don't have to worry about. Oh, I got to make sure there's a 350 available. You can pull into any EA station and grab a 150, and you're basically you're golden. Yep. Okay. All right. Like I love it. All right. So you got to go sign for it now. Yes. All right. Let's go make it yours. All right, I just spent a lot of money, but it's all mine and I'm super excited. It's one of my dream cars, so um, can't wait to put the dogs in it. Honestly, that's uh, that's gonna be a Do you wanna tell moment. the viewers how much you spent? Or are we not telling them? No, you don't need to know how much I spent. Okay, do you wanna tell them how much range the car has? I don't know. <laughs> Strange the car house. Okay, so <laughs> that's usually something people look at when they buy an electric car. Well, yes, but I know it's good. Yeah, it's about you, 200 miles. Yeah, you told me, I just, my brain doesn't work much lately. So. Right, but it charges really great. Charges really, yeah, you told me that it charges uh, 150 kilowatts, but all the way to like 90%, did you say? Yeah, 80. Around 80, 90, so yeah. that's pretty solid. That's better than what our Tesla did, so. Right, so no actually difference. we have this lined up. By the way, you could have had really any car. You could have had an Ionic 5, could have had an EV6, XC40 Recharge. What made you go with the e-tron? Why did that come up? Um, so space, I think was the biggest thing. 
I uh, really did enjoy the XC40 recharge for sure. Uh, really loved that car, but in the end, it all came down to space and charging and all that good stuff. So yeah. the dogs are just gonna look so good in here. Ellie's gonna look like a little prima donna princess. And <laughs> Blue will look like a rock star. So yeah, once it's all blacked out, it'll be pretty cool. Yeah, Kyle wants to black out all this stuff, so which I think will look really good. The M5 Burble Tune. Yeah. <laughs> All right, why don't you pop the hood? Because it does have a front trunk. So by the way, this is the Hyundai Ionic 5. And the reason we have this car here is because we, I opened the front trunk on the Audi. I'm like, this has such a tiny front trunk. And then I op and then I remembered this also has such a tiny front trunk. So here it is. It's a competition for the world's smallest front trunk. Hey dad. Hey, I think I win. Yeah, I think maybe you do. You just pull the lever in the bottom left. I'm not sure I want to win this race. It's like opening a normal hood. There you go. Let's take a look under here. Oh, I definitely win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I actually. Huge. Yeah, I actually think that this is a larger front trunk. Absolutely. Yeah, it's like twice as. Well, high. that's reason enough to spend the extra money on an e-tron. <laughs> Um, but actually, the onboard included uh, EVSE is here. A couple interesting things. You can tell the 110's never been used. I can see this has actually been used almost too much to the point where it's discolored a bit. This actually doesn't bother me because it indicates that the car had a garage that someone installed charging infrastructure in, and it's been level two charged most of its life, which is really nice. So just shows that it definitely wasn't DC fast charged all the time. Are you checking to make sure it's got windshield washer fluid? <laughs> That's the only thing I gotta check. Yeah, okay, well, does it have any? I don't see anything. Oh no, I don't see anything either. You gonna make him fill it up before you leave? No. <laughs> no, you, you should. I, I should? Yeah, no, ask him to fill it up. I don't wanna be that person. You just spent like a lot of money on this you thing. You wanna be that person? I'll be that person. Well, I mean, we're gonna have no, to No, it's just a minor, it's a minor thing. Can we say props for the sob sign? Yeah. What a shame, sob's gone. Sob it's really a sob story. You've never heard that? Right no, they went out of business years ago. Why is it still there? Just for show? Because if that sign ever gets taken down, the hearts of car enthusiasts around the world will fall with it. That should go on our ranch one day. Yeah, if they ever take it down, I want dibs on that side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so keep it. keep showing us around the e-tron. No dual charging ports on this one. They no. were never on the early ones. No. Really nice wheels. Yeah, got the nice good wheels. wheels. But we'll be, of course, swapping them out for Martian wheels. You think so? Probably. Some nice juicy MW05s. Well, if we want to go all black, we got to go all black. Okay. Get the calipers painted black. No. No? Don't Keep those silver. Those. Okay. Those. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Open it up. Let's see the trunk. I mean, we've already showed them the trunk. How do I kick it then? Can we kick? No, you can kick. You can... Where's the it's just right in here. You just go... Boop. Oh, it's You got to go pretty deep in there. And you can fold the seats down from the back. Yeah, you just pull the, there you go. Whoa. Make sure the seat belts aren't in the way before you do that though. Don't crease the leather. <laughs> All right, what do you say you drive this thing for the first time? Yeah, let's go. The first ID4 that I bought, I bought right here at Valente Volkswagen. And for you those, actually filmed a video there, I didn't did you? I did, and this was my salesman right here, and he's still here. This is <laughs> hey, right I'm here. Kyle. Kyle, Joe. Great this to meet Joe. you. And uh, I went and said hi to him. I gave him a call. I told him yeah. that of all the dealers in the entire country that you found this Audi e-tron on, you're, you're like, Dad, I bought this car at Valenti. And do you know where Watertown, Connecticut is? I said, yeah, not no only do I know where it is, I said, <laughs> I bought a car there. So anyway, special day, Joe. Thank you again for, uh, I know you're on the Volkswagen side, but uh, Joe's also selling uh, Volvos and he's been doing the, X, both, yeah. the XC40. And they have a Fjord Blue C40 over there. Yep. Yep. Taking it back and forth over there sometimes. Taking nice. Every now and then. Oh, sweet. They rip, don't they? they They're do. pretty quick. They do. They're comfortable too. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway, good seeing you again, Joe. Okay. All right. Always you ready to go for a ride in? my car sure let's do it <laughs> that's right i just heard a subscribe to out of spec from yeah, that guy well, he's already subscribed, so. <laughs> oh great I gotta make sure you're way you're way too salesy he's like hey i'm dave subscribe to out of spec what you don't want people to subscribe 
I don't tell people we even make YouTube videos. You're doing fine. <laughs> you be nice. What is the the deal with um cabin preconditioning? Yes. Uh 30 minutes at a time. 30 minutes. So, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go for, let's choose the type of massage. Oh, yes. I'm going to go for the wave. Yeah, isn't this the car that I thought that um, felt like little kittens pushing your back? I think, <laughs> you're not into the massage as much. Really, no. this, the, the whole prestige thing was definitely a Kyle Connor. Well, um, my biggest thing is I don't like the not nice leather on the dash. I wanted the good sound system. I wanted the double pane glass. Right. And if... It was mostly driven by the poor quality of leather in the standard cars that yes. I didn't like so much. Yes. Okay, so what's our plan here? Oh, it's got CarPlay. Yes, of course it does. But it's an old e-tron, so it has the USB yeah, A ports. I did, I just pulled out this. I brought actually brought this along just for this. Yeah, in and 2019 or 2020, yeah. they put a faster MMI in it. And they gave USB A ports, but I always thought the screen was snappy enough for me. I know. I mean, the amount I actually use the screen is so minimal. Yeah. And I just use CarPlay, so. Um, yeah. Well, we'll set up all the settings when we get back. But let's go for your first drive in your new fat Etron. Why is it fat? That's just what everyone calls it. Is that a good thing, like P H A T? No, like just fat, like me, just like not. No, no, she's P H A T. Okay. <laughs> Not F-A-T. You don't call girls fat. Oh, so it's a girl. Of course she is. Look okay. She's beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice looking car. Yeah. She's got a nice sunroof. She's got nice seats. Oh, is it, is it heating and cooling? It can do heating and cooling at the same at time. At the same time. <laughs> That's another Kyle Connor thing. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's... Um, Put in your parents' address, which I have no clue what it is. Okay, I'll put it in, then we'll go there. Yes. You think we have enough range to make it out the parking lot? They, they charge it. It's at 100%. It, they charge it to 100%. Yeah. How do I uh, check all that? I guess I'll have to play around and... Yeah, so you it. go here, and then you go vehicle, and then you go charging, and then you go charging, and then it'll tell you. It doesn't tell me on here? Yeah, it does. It's this right uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thing right there. there. Yeah, it's 103 miles. Projected range, yep. 180. On the highway, ripping it. Yeah. yeah. Guess. But, but then it, it charges pretty well, so. Yeah. I mean, in terms of, like, what we were using with our Tesla, that's That's not, about this, not too far yeah, off the Model 3. And off. it's not like this is really going to be the long-time road tripper. We still have the Taycan coming. We do, but I'll be doing a lot of um, dog transport trips, hopefully, in this car. Yep. So, um, that'll be its purpose. And, um, well, not really its full purpose, but to help me do the things that I want to do with the car. Right. So. Just feels so silent in here. I know. The loudest thing is the air conditioning fan. You got your Where's mom? Yeah. Your oh, your what? Massage? Oh, I massage? Yeah. I need to stretch. You want full intensity? Oh yeah, I need a full intensity. I'm an intense girl. All right, let's get headed on the road. All right. It feels like a I'm just floating. You're just floating. I'm just floating, getting a little kitten massage behind me. <laughs> this is a hard one to pull out on. What? Why? Oh, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Why does she think she has the right of way? I have no idea. God, we're not in Colorado anymore. Yeah, I know. Oh, I got the heads up display, too. Yeah. I need to lower that. Yeah, we can, we'll adjust it all later on. Yeah. CarPlay running. Ventilated seat on. I don't think it's actively cold, actually. I think it is just ventilated. Break. <laughs> you, you watching the road here? I am. I just had to feel how much for every single car that I drive is pretty much yin and yang when it comes to brakes. Yeah, with EVs, there's so many different braking <laughs> strategies. Tesla's like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, our smart car is like, eh, and then you like mildly touch the brake, goes. <laughs> And right. this one is, I don't know yet. I'll figure right. it out, but I'm sure it's... It's really actually a really things. good brake pedal calibration on this car. Yeah. Yeah, it's all brake by wire, but done really well. I know the man who did the brake calibration on this. Do you know? He's a nice German man. Do you know? Yeah, he's a fan of the channel, actually. He is. Yeah. Well, hello. I'm not, can't, I, I, just because he works for Audi, I'm not going to call his I name know. out. I said, well, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, I don't know. 
Yeah. I don't know he either. also did a lot of the torque vectoring for Etron S. Wow. Yeah, cool dude. Very cool. All right, so beautiful Connecticut. Here we go. So silent. So silent. So pretty. So happy. It's honestly, this isn't my first car that I bought, but this is definitely the first car that I definitely 100% wanted. Uh, not that I didn't want my i3, I loved my i3, but this just pretty much is everything that I wanted to do. And it's, you know, I love practical cars and I just feel like this is just a practical buy, even though we should have bought it like two years ago. <laughs> well, we almost did actually. We were, we were, oh my God, I don't even know how, we were so close, like just absolutely so close. We were gonna buy it from a, a friend of ours, which is also a viewer. And you know, like just so you guys know, come and talk to us. We love to make friends with our viewers never be shy there was one guy that was out um when we were at angela's crest and he was like oh i was a viewer of your channel but you guys were filming so i don't want to bother you i'm like no nah, always just bother us yeah, if you see us out us. filming say hey i would love to be bothered because i'm usually holding that camera for about 10 minutes straight because that's how long <laughs> kyle talks so if i can get a break i'm there for it so always come say hi to us um we, we enjoy meeting everybody yeah. Do you want to try an acceleration situation? No. Okay. So the, in order to get maximum acceleration, you need to be an S on the screen, just so you know, uh -huh. which means you pull this back once and now it activates boost mode. Oh. So just floor it real quick. Well, the suitcases are back where they were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels good. I mean, it's not like super powerful or anything, but no. I don't really like that, so I'm good with it's like four and a bit second or five and a bit second zero to 60. we will drag race it here soon i'm, I'm yeah, sure it's not the fastest thing on the planet no. it's meant to be a comfortable cruiser it's meant to be what it is it's meant to be driven in comfort mode hey welcome to the electrify america charging station nice job cutting this guy off nope oh, <laughs> oh big um also are you planning on charging this thing no i don't want to so you're just blocking a charging spot well you said that you wanted to plug it in regardless yeah so i'm just listening to your orders yeah you know where the charging port is on this it's over here isn't it <laughs> that's not a good parking job no Alyssa, why are you still trying to back up what? do you know where the charging port is yeah it's up here oh so i need to <laughs> <laughs> the Tesla stuff you back in. You're still in reverse, just so you know. I know. All right. Figure it out. Figure it well, out. Well, I just didn't want you to figure it out by smashing into an EA station. No, no. Yeah, so just loop around to the right. In this one, you don't have to take the 350s. You can just take the 150s. Perfect. No, uh, it's the Chatamo one, though. You know, I thought that was good turning radius. Yeah, and they put long cables so you don't have to pull up crazy. When this car first came out, all the chargers had little tiny uh, charging cables on them, and you have to inch right up. Do you remember that? No. Okay, uh, I'm just going to activate it, make sure it charges. I see no reason to believe it wouldn't charge. Um, and then uh, then we'll move it from the Chatamo spot, just in case uh, a leaf rolls up. Just in case. Watch how fast this is going to charge. Did you hit continue yet? No, I hate that. Okay. Nice. Signet chargers. This should give you the full beam. 162, 174. Watch it go to 240. That's the beauty of the Ionic 5 right here. Still ramping. 220. It's a machine. I'm telling you. <laughs> I love it. It's the future on wheels. Plus the door handles pop out. Look yeah, that. better for efficiency. That's right. That's the reason that car is so thirsty. <laughs> All right, let's get this one plugged in. We're just going to make sure it charges. It's got a pretty freaking sweet. Hey, Alyssa, can you activate this charger for me? It's got a sweet charging port. Load up the Electrify America app. I logged into it for you. So now you have our account. No free charging on eTron. We're going to have to mortgage a house to charge this thirsty machine. Although I would say my impression of the efficiency on the way down wasn't bad. It was like 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Really? Yeah, that's not terrible. That's like really good actually. All right, got the charger activated. First time ever. In we go. Oh, parking brake clamps down when it does that, which means it has a um, parking pod within the electric motor and gearbox, which is nice. So you have two different ways to hold the car back. 
and yeah connecting the vehicle i like it with the tints what do you think yeah i like the tints but we, need we to tint the windshield yeah we got to do the windshield yeah we'll tint that in colorado we have really harsh sun yeah and um keeps it cool keeps it cool yeah so let's see what we're gonna just make sure this all goes yeah no no fault codes or anything like that because we're about to drive this thing across the country back to colorado stay tuned to out of spec motoring for that that will come in a couple weeks because we have a couple many, couple weeks yeah, like months <laughs> like couple, couple <laughs> weeks all right let's come on over let's take a look it says welcome kyle 31 cents a kilowatt hour, which is not that expensive for DC fast charging, in my opinion. Way cheaper than the stuff in Europe. Cheaper than superchargers, in fact. Two kilowatts. There we go. Ramping up. <laughs> I was going to say, that'd take us a little while if it was going to do two kilowatts. And it's just waving around, ramping up 40, 50, 60, 70. Yeah. 70 kilowatts at 86% on a coldish battery pack. Sounds right to me. No need to charge it up that high though. What I really want to do is actually drain the battery and leave it at 10 or 15% for a night so that it can calibrate the BMS. My guess, in all the photos at the dealership, this was at about 75% state of charge. So I don't think they left it full the whole time, uh, but it's still good just to do a big recalibration because who knows what happened to this car. Yeah, just sitting at 70 kilowatts. Nice. Alyssa, how did it drive? Your first drive. Honestly, super amazing. I'm just looking at this truck. I'm so distracted by this truck right now. <laughs> Is that an EV? Huge stacks out of it. Huge what? Stacks, complete trucker park. Yeah, the parking job's not great. The truck's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean those. What is that like? One foot, one foot diameter pipes on that yeah, thing? That looks like a twelve inch. <laughs> twelve inch. Stack. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Anyways, uh, totally love the car. Um, it drives amazing. We were going over some really big bumps and stuff, and all we could we could hear, hear, feel them, but not actually feel them. Yeah, all those bumps. We were in the <laughs> Ionic Five, and that same. Um, hey, 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 hey! Take our it heads easy. We're about to pop out the roof. And take, just, take it easy. You know, vehicle and then this just flattened all of it for the rest of everyone all right fair enough this leaves the road smoother than where you found it <laughs> <laughs> so the first charging stop at electrify america here in trumbull connecticut is officially complete you guys ready to roll We're ready to go. all right for the first time. oh by the way Alyssa, i love i know the wheels well the wheels yes oh the but emblem. the emblem it's like uh it's like yellow or gold around there it's beautiful but the wheels are definitely beautiful rolling on 21s i see yeah, oh, 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 oh. oh yeah looking good all right it's time for a little colony pizza in stanford for those that know, oh yeah, it's gonna be a good night. First impression, go. Um, this lady needs to shut up. Why did you do? Oh my gosh, that's the repeat button. How do I turn her off? I don't even remember. So, this one, Etron Route Planner. So it'll do routing, but I don't believe it does on route battery preconditioning. Anyway, oh, I love that I can sit on the ground in this thing. Yeah. Love the steering ratio. Steering wheel needs a clean. Mine Why? actually needs a new steering wheel. Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna have to rip it out of here. So mm -hmm. We actually don't have to. No one's coming. Oh, it feels nice. Uh, driven e-trons plenty of times. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I don't like is every time you get in, you have to grab the left paddle to go max. Which I feel like that over time will just become like habitual. How do you make this lady stop talking? I don't know. Okay, so we want to go S mode and... Whoa! Yeah, it's not, not that fast. No. Just feels so heavy. <laughs> yeah. It's like cruise ship initiating turn, <laughs> full speed. No drivetrain shutter, feels so good. Yep. Like it, gonna do the typical Merritt Parkway blast. Let's drop her into dynamic, see how good this thing can rip. I used to rip up and down this road all the time. This is where I grew up here in Southern Connecticut. And um, uh, I think I hold the record for the fastest 
time from one end of the Merit to the other. Really? In my little John Cooper Works GP Mini. Oh. Just yeah. Boop, 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 boop. yeah, pissed off the whole state of Connecticut growing up here. Now I drive much tamer, but I used to. Especially you hauling around this big. Yeah, this big is not beef a girl. fastest thing on the planet. But you can go full stability control off by pushing hold. There we go. ESC full off. Whoa. Launching it. Still ripping. <laughs> <laughs> Full set. Uh, here's my car workout for the day. Yeah. Well, we got to make sure the wheels are bolted on, you know? Yeah. That's <laughs> the way to do it. You don't kick them or anything. Predictive efficiency assist unavailable. Typical Germans giving warnings for nothing. ESC back on. Put it in drive. We'll lock it in comfort mode to cruise. Lane centering on. Cruise control. Uh, locked in at 75. There we go. And closest following distance. Can I do the corner? It knows it's turning and it's doing it. Look at yeah. that. What Just touch the wheel. Capacitive wheel, I believe. Yep. And this is how you cruise. Capacitive. Nice. 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 I like this. What, the map? Yeah, I didn't. Oh, take a look at this. Oh, I like that. The one thing I've kind of noticed, I don't know why, I don't know if it's a me thing, but I'm always used to that being on that side. Uh, yep. I would say that's typical in most cars to have the speedometer on the left. Ah. Uh, Doesn't bother me. Use your head-up display. Right, I haven't gotten used to that, so. Yeah, I got so many things up there. Direction, speed limit, distance to the car in front, speed set, our travel speed. It's all great. Oh, great. What a cruiser. Massaging seat. One thing that this car has is fragrance, and I hate fragrance, <laughs> but it's actually never been used, and it's going to stay like that unless we really have one day with a really, really stinky dog, which actually is bound to happen, but I'm just pretty sensitive to harsh fragrances that I know what these already smell like, and I don't like, like them. In my opinion, this smells bad, and then that one smells worse. Yeah, so I don't remember it'd be which cool. one I like least. It'd be cool if I mean how do do they like refill them or what? Like yeah, can I put my I could put my own things in there? I guess you could in theory. I guess bottle up a fart and plug it in. No. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking, but Okay. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see this? This lights up. That's ridiculous. $400 for a little light? Literally, for someone like me, I can never see that now. Okay, I know. you know what? Right here. Audi, take note. Charge Kathy Connor $600 for that, please. <laughs> I got it. Anyway, we got to end the video. So we took it to dinner to get some pizza. What's the name of this place? Colony Pizza, oh, Stanford. Yeah. Yep, yeah, everybody knows the rules. What was the score? I, I think it was high. High eight, eight point eight, or maybe even a nine one. I More call the Sally's or Pepe's, honestly. One. Yeah. I How do I put it. this thing in gear? You push it forward. Oh, forward. He's an amateur. That makes no sense. He doesn't know anything about. If I want to go backwards, why don't I push it backwards? Well, Wait, that's hold, dumb. please. I have to put my massaging seat on. Right. Very nice, <laughs> Mom. You gonna get one of these? It's too big for me. What's next for you then? Well, let's see. The Porsche Macan EV. Yep. When are they coming out? Not soon enough. Oh, that's what I need. Yep. I need one of those. All right. Well, um, thanks for watching another Out of Spec Reviews video. No, Congrats on your car. Kyle, thanks for coming to visit us in Connecticut, even though it took a car to get you here. Oh, We're yeah. Still, no worries. Happy to see you both. I just have four things to say. <laughs> GV60. Uh-oh. Oh, it no. could be. I like the interior. And that's how you end it. But then I get the... You know how to put this thing in drive? Not really. I, I just went in reverse again. Oh, my God. He's the only one not drinking. <laughs> <laughs> NFT, non-functional transmission. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.